Emeritus, the Honorable Errol Miller. Starting life as an ordinary schoolboy, Errol Miller has made education his life's journey. On this way, he has participated and contributed to many aspects of the Jamaica he loves and serves. Errol Miller is a homegrown product. He attended Central Branch and Halfway Tree Elementary Schools, Calabar High School, and the University of the West Indies, where he gained all his academic and professional qualifications. Indeed, he was the first person to be awarded the UWI Master's and PhD in Education. Being a postdoctoral fellow in Science Education at the Harvard University Graduate School of Education was just another confirmation of the pedigree of Jamaican and Commonwealth Caribbean education. After a five-year stint as a science teacher at Excelsior High School, he returned to his alma mater in 1966 as a lecturer in science education. Six years later, having received accelerated promotion and tenure, Mr. Miller resigned from the UWI to become principal of the Michael College with a mandate from the board to change the institution. However, 18 months later, during a period of crisis, he was seconded to the Ministry of Education as Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education. As Permanent Secretary, he was part of the team that implemented the secondary and tertiary education, upgraded three-year junior secondary schools into five-year secondary schools, incorporated special education into public school system, replaced this 70-30 system with straight merit on the basis of entry to high schools, introduced the grade nine achievement test, which allowed students in all eight schools a second chance to enter high schools, revived the capital program of building schools, and reorganized the Ministry of Education so that its structure was appropriate for its expanded functions. Having accomplished the tasks for which he had been seconded, Mr. Miller returned to Michael as principal in September 1975 to continue the change that had begun. During his tenure at Michael, the college pioneered the semester system, reformed the teacher education curriculum, commissioned lecturers to write books and other materials specifically for the teacher education curriculum, trained secondary school trainees to teach CSEC subjects, designed an accelerated program for trainees entering college with A-levels and bachelor's degrees, trained teachers for special education, established a child assessment and research in education center, that's the care center, established the Michael Foundation, and built 1, 000, the 1,000 seat cafeteria, the gymnasium, and hall for female students, which now bears his name. Professor Miller also became the founding president of the Jamaica Association of Teacher Educators an affiliate of the Jamaica Teachers Association. In January 1981, Professor Miller returned to the University of the West Indies as Professor of Teacher Education and served in that post for 26 years. He served as head of the Department of Teacher Development, later the Institute of Education, and chairman of the Joint Board of Teacher Education between 1981 to 1985, 1991 to 1995, and 1996 to 2003. During his leadership, the Joint Board upgraded teacher certification from the certificate to the diploma level, engaged in upgrading serving teachers in schools to the diploma level, articulated the diploma level program with the UWI bachelor's degree programs and UWI matriculation requirements such that teachers' colleges became a parallel route to the sixth form, with the former having the advantage of professional training. While the Joint Board set the standards for teacher education and validated the process by which students met these standards through partnership with the Ministry of Education and academic departments of the University of the West Indies, in his role as professor, he led in three important respects. First, to require a plenary board of studies to set the annual goals for teacher education, to place chairmanship of each board of study in the hands of college staff, 
and to expand membership of boards of studies to include not only external examiners, but all curriculum officers of the Ministry of Education. Second, to guide the Institute to focus on research, development, and innovations that would assist colleges in training teachers to meet the prescribed standards. To set the example, as professor, he has published 17 books and monographs, more than 30 chapters of books, more than 30 papers in referred journals, and numerous conference papers. Third, let the joint board to engage innovative and entrepreneurial projects first through JBT Enterprise and Material Production Unit, and latterly through JBTE Foundation. Examples of such projects are the teacher training component of the ROSE project funded by the World Bank, the PEP project by the IDB, the Caribbean Center of Excellence for Teacher Training funded by the USAID. In addition, the Institute of Education pioneered the online Masters in Education. Professor Miller's service to the wider community is also remarkable. This includes chairman of the board of the Jamaica Broadcasting Corporation, yes, Joseph, just outside earlier on, I said JBC when I met TBJ. <laughs> chairman of the board of the Jamaica Constabulary Four Star College, chairman of the Youth Opportunities Unlimited, U, president of the Jamaica Teachers Association, independent senator in the Jamaica Parliament, chairman of the Electoral Advisory Committee, chairman of the Electoral Commission of Jamaica, alternate chairman of the Education for All Forum Paris, and the chair of the final session of the World Forum on Education for All in Dakar, Senegal in 2000, which approved the World Declaration Goals for Education for 2015. For his immense contribution to education and related fields, he has received numerous awards and honors. These include the Centenary Medal of the Institute of Jamaica, the National Honor Roll of the Jamaica Teachers Association, the UWI Vice Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Public Service, the Order of Jamaica from the Jamaica Government, two Fulbright's Fellowships, Doctor of Laws Honors Causa from the University of the West Indies, and the Albert Chank Award of 2004 from Education International, representing over 30 million educators worldwide. The Norman Washington Manley Foundation is proud to be able to present the Norman Manley Award for Excellence to Professor Emeritus, the Honorable Aaron Miller. Thank you.